What's up, everyone? Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Sunday, December 26, 2021. And sadly, the Christmas festivities are coming to a close. I hope that everyone had a great holiday. Uh, if you would like to know exactly what happened during my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I went into a very big detail about it on the pre-stream podcast earlier today. Be sure to check that out right here on demand on DSP Gaming for the full skinny... Look at my hair, it's funny. The full skinny on that. Um... No more Christmas hats, no more Christmas sweaters, but we are back to full-time streaming fun here on uh, DSP Gaming. Today was a great day back. We started off with the first full stream ever of the Skyrim Anniversary Edition run featuring Jasper Kitty. It was pretty fun, although we're still in the introductory stages. We haven't really gotten too far into any story elements yet. Uh, Just kind of going through the motions of learning everything, uh, fumbling around with the controls a bit till I get used to them. Um, The game looks great. Still full of bugs, which I'm hilarious. Hilarious. Ten years later, how many times they re-released the game? It's still full of effing bugs. It is, <laughs> um, but it's still fun. I'm having a good time. It was a good, a good chill time, and I get the feeling every time I play Skyrim, it's going to be an interactive, chill, and fun time with my audience because that's the kind of game it is. Much like the Fallout series, open world, wandering around, looking for quests, doing random stuff, people giving their input on how do you do this, how do you do that, how what order you should do stuff. It is a ton of fun. I absolutely love these kind of streams. That's why the Fallout New Vegas playthrough was so good over the summer. That's why I feel this playthrough will be a really special playthrough for early 2022. So good stuff there. Give it a look right here on DSP Gaming. If you did not see the live stream, uh, check it out yourself. Now, tonight was Street Fighter. Now, I didn't know how Street Fighter was going to go. I'll be honest with you. I was usually playing on Friday nights. As you know, the last two Fridays, we've been doing it on Xbox rather than PlayStation to try to avoid trolls and try to see if there's variety of comp. Um, there is variety of comp. Sadly, is it's just not a large amount of comp. There's maybe like five to ten people tops who are playing it on Xbox, which led us to try to do some ranked matches, which surprisingly enough was working for games like Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, and Super Turbo. But after doing it for two weeks, people said, meh, go back to PlayStation and let's see what happens. But of course, I didn't get to play it on Friday night because that was Christmas Eve. So how did it go tonight on Sunday night? Well... It went, it just didn't go as smoothly as usual. Um, Definitely there were not as many people as usual playing. There were a good amount of people playing. But sadly, every time we went into a lobby, I'd win a couple times and someone would quit. Here come the trolls. And the trolls were out in full force tonight to try to ruin it. Uh, So I had to jump around lobbies quite a lot. It is what it is. Um, We still got lots of gameplay in. I did still get the full two hours of gameplay in on tonight's stream. Um, Just sadly... I wish it could have been less waiting, less room jumping, and more just sitting there and playing people consistently. Didn't really come together. Support, surprisingly, wasn't that bad. I thought it actually for doing Street Fighter on a day that's not the usual weekly day that it would actually be bad, and it actually wasn't bad. So I'm actually happy with that. Now, Street Fighter will resume on its regularly scheduled time of Friday Night Fights this coming Friday, so don't worry. It's not going to be a permanent change. It's not even something that lasts more than just one off. I know it was annoying um, for those who... Uh, like the Street Fighter Friday nights. And by the way, it's New Year's Eve this Friday night. So again, who knows what's going to happen. For me, I'm good because my New Year's Eve, you know, doesn't become new, uh, the new year until midnight. And I'll be done by like nine something. Uh, so it's not a big deal. But I know some people will be out going out partying and drinking and stuff. So I guess we'll see what happens if people actually show up on New Year's Eve or not for Street Fighter. My hair will not stop sticking up. This is hilarious. I, I showered right before the stream and I'm looking at my hair. I'm like, dude, look at how out of control this is. Wow. I'm going to put my finger in the electric socket or something. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, tomorrow, Monday, we're continuing with Resident Evil 4. Interesting because I played this during the Christmas Marathon, ended up playing it for like over two hours, which I didn't intend, just got stuck playing it that long because my food hadn't arrived for uh, Feasting with the King. So I got a good amount into it. Um, and my initial impressions are basically it's not any better than the version I played in 2014. The controls are still wonky and delayed and it's very hard to aim. All I want to do is shoot these guys in the knee so they fall and I can stab them in the face. It's like ridiculous work just to get it to aim around the leg and shoot consistently. It's very annoying. So I get the feeling the playthrough is going to be annoying, just like the first one in 2014. Um, We'll see how it goes tomorrow on the mainstream and tomorrow night, Halo Infinite Multiplayer. Now, please, ladies and gentlemen, I must appeal to you. I like Halo Infinite. I'm going to be honest with you. It's one of my favorite games of the year. It's going to be in my top 10 games of the year countdown. Spoiler alert. Oops, I should have said spoiler alert before I gave you the spoiler. (laughs) It's that good of a game. I want to keep playing Halo Infinite multiplayer. But every time I play it, there seems to be some issue where there's a lot of viewers and almost no support. Okay? 
I want to turn that around this week. If you like me doing competitive multiplayer, other you, you know, everyone says, oh, every, Phil just does way too many easy narrative-based games. I like it when he does multiplayer because he's challenged and he fails and it's fun to see him rage, but then overcome. Great. Then please support that. When I'm playing Halo Infinite in multiplayer and I'm doing well, or if I'm failing in rage, please support it. All right? I want to keep it in the rotation. And by the way, there's tons of other things people want to see, including the continuation of Condemned Criminal Origins. They want to see me try out other games on uh, Game Pass, okay? There's things I could be doing other than Late Night Street, uh, Halo, but I like Halo. I want to keep it in the rotation, just like I did Call of Duty last year for how many months, and people supported it. I hope people will eventually adopt and support Halo. So tomorrow night, Halo on the late stream, please support it if you can. All right, now, one final thing. This week's schedule is currently up in the air. Originally, I was supposed to be streaming today, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was going to be my day off, but we had inclement weather here in Washington, snow. Today, we had freezing temperatures and over four inches of snow. The schedule is we're supposed to have more of it over the week. It's uncertain what days we're getting it and what days we're not, okay? Now, obviously, I need a day off sometime this week. Um, will it be Wednesday? Will it be Thursday? I don't know. It really depends on the weather. If the weather's okay on Wednesday, then that's my day off, but if it ends up being bad and maybe Thursday's better, then Wednesday, I will stream and then Thursday will be my day off, you see? So it's kind of up in the air. I wish I could promise you guys a set schedule. I can't until we know what the weather's going to be. And the way it is, you know, the weathermen don't know shit. They, they really don't. The weather people are always guessing. They say one thing two days later, it's completely changed. You know, today they say it's snow on Wednesday. By Wednesday, they'll say that we're going to have like 90 degree temperatures or something. Who knows? But anyway, I'll let you know as we get further into the week. Thank you for a great day back today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed all the content. Remember... If you like what you're seeing, like the videos on YouTube and leave a comment, including this one. This helps the channel immensely. The more likes we can get on videos and streams, the more comments we can get, the more uh, viewer, well, not retention. Um, I forgot the word. I'm having a brain fart. It helps the channel. Please do it if you like the content. Thank you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Engagement. Viewer engagement. I knew I would remember.